one on the far right corner. SHT Mike, I'm a member of Slaughterhouse Tyrants. We like running labs because all the other maps are filled with low level players doing quests right now and there's a lot of good PvP on labs. I like playing in a squad. It takes a lot of mental brain bites to keep track of other players. That's why we have so many callouts. You can get our callouts from the Discord that's linked. The big dynamic on labs right now is you have a smaller, less experienced squad or a single player who's holed up. I'm going to go through and show you some grenades and some squad maneuvers that can help you dig out these turtles that are holed up in a hot spot on the map. First off, here's my loadout. I like bringing at least eight F1 grenades into each raid and a ton of flashbangs. Sometimes I'll bring a smoke, usually a beta backpack, where I'll put the CMS kit. I use a morphine right when I spawn. It only has a two second use time, so you can Instead of uh, taking seven seconds for a golden star, you can just pop up morphine and get on and push that spawn. Also use an adrenaline like a panic button if I take a lot of damage. On labs, I'm using mostly F1s and flashbangs. F1s are the most deadly. Flashbangs have a short fuse and a big AOE so you can catch your enemies slipping. RGDs, you can throw them a little bit farther than F1s, but they're less deadly. M67s, they can be thrown really far, but they have a long five second fuse. I don't like mixing grenades because you can't refine your distances if you miss the grenade and you have mismatched grenades. Let's talk about the basic physics of grenades in Tarkov. If you don't have line of sight with a detonating grenade, you don't have to worry about it if you're taking cover behind a traffic cone. Right here, don't panic. Just step out of that blast radius and hold your position. Throwing grenades off some objects causes consistent outcomes. For example, if you throw a grenade off this duct, that grenade is most likely and most often going to land at the end of the hallway. Take a look. Throwing a consistent grenade isn't a science, it's more of an art, you just kind of feel it. But the big thing is that you spot your target and you walk forward throughout the entirety of your grenade throw post pin pull and drag your cursor slightly up to compensate for your movement. If you want to throw a shorter grenade, you can back pedal while throwing the grenade and look up to lob it. Also, if your player's out of stamina, he's gonna throw like a girl. And he'll throw a really short. EFT grenade physics can be predictably unrealistic. If I throw a grenade off that back wall, it's almost always gonna bounce left and detonate by the red oxygen tanks.
The good thing is that there's only a few objects that you need to familiarize yourself with because there's only a few spots in the map that squads or new players will typically hole up in. I'll show you a few of those now. When you're assaulting server office, you want your first grenade to land somewhere over here to flush players away from double doors and this cover back towards the back server stairs where you can shred them through the windows or with another grenade to land somewhere around here. It's common that once you've flushed your opponents out of server office, they'll stack up on these stairs. Here they have an advantage because they'll be able to strafe right and because they'll see the tip of your head before you see theirs. It's difficult to throw a grenade under the stairs from safety without peeking, but you can try this. Aim left of the pole and bounce it. Once you flush your opponents out of the stairs, they usually run behind the forklift, the blue barrels, the server ramp, or in this cubby. First, zone them out of the cubby. Then, with some risk, because they can see your feet, zone them off the forklift. Look down about here, hit G, and finish your grenade through a walking forward. Flashbangs allow for some unique plays since they have a short fuse. But be careful, you might blind your buddy if you miss this. Ideally that flashbang doesn't get caught on this weird object here which seems to mess up grenade rolls and detonates mid-air somewhere about here. When you're assaulting server from the back, you want to make sure your grenade blows up behind that server rack. That'll keep them away from this cover spot. Med Bay T is another hot spot players like to go since they chase players into Med Bay and then wait for them to exit. In order to dig players out of Med Bay T, you can go here, but it's risky. If the other player is prone, they'll be able to shoot you, but you can't shoot them. Throw a grenade over the fence, jump up, and now you have the angle. You can also try nading from this railing. But be careful, because you're exposed to that bit. Some spots are tough to push, like this one in Med Bay. There's no consistent grenade throw to bounce a grenade over that cover without exposing yourself. Sometimes it lands, sometimes it doesn't. You can try to smoke it off, but throwing smoke grenades is difficult since they, they bounce in a really awkward way and they aren't predictable. Also, oftentimes smoking can result in one-way smokes. And if the enemy has an IR sight, they can see through smoke. They also take a long time. Best way to dig a player out of med bay is put two at the door, throw some grenades and hope they run away. Having a player here is a great way to dig a player out of med bay, since they can negate that angle. You can see it's hard to see through the smoke from this side. But on the other side it's easy. Grenades are great at making opponents behave in a predictable manner. For example, throw a nade into bunks and then watch them run out the backside. It's very often that players will go into arsenal to loot and then get stuck in there. If they do, it's easy to nade them out. Take one player to guard the windows and 
protect a teammate that's going to nade first on the television, then second into the back corner. As that second grenade is being thrown, cycle back to the door, line up just above that footstool, and bounce the grenade to land right in front of the door. It's common that players will hide inside this locked room, especially because they have cover. Another advantage of having the back wall, which is this light screen in the distance, which will backlight anybody that steps into the window or snipes from a distance. And if you're sniping from a distance, you're not going to be able to see much in here. It'll just be dark black. So once that third grenade goes off, instantly throw a fourth grenade into the room. And then you're going to check the scenario again, which you should just bullet hose. If the players are holed up inside the red key card room, the best play is to bank a nade off the door frame and then watch as they push out through the crack in the door and then bullet hose their heads. Hopefully the server doesn't let you down and you don't have too many stutters. Another textbook squad assault that you can do is on bridge and cardboard. Throw grenades from Rock Strip and here at Rock Staircase. As your teammate is throwing grenades from Rock Staircase, your other teammate should be waiting to push Cardboard Box over at Double Dumpsters. Throw one grenade to flush out Cardboard Box, another to flush out the players that are retreating from Bridge. Cardboard Box is my most successful and consistent grenade throw. I've never been killed from Rock Strip or Bridge as I throw it. And I'm experimenting with throwing a flash to disorient enemies and following up with an F1 to catch them while they're disoriented. Let's say a player's at Cardboard. Good way to flush them out of that spot is to bounce it off that wall there. And then as that grenade is exploding, throw another one. To zone them out even more. And now you're in a situation where you can right strafe and they'll have to left strafe to fight you. Sometimes players will go up into the manager's office. As I understand it, you can shoot out of the glass in manager's office but not into it. Also, sometimes a player will hit sit behind that desk and it's hard to nade without getting shot. But you can try this. Peeking front cage can be dangerous since there's a lot of shadows and cover and because if they're at front cage they can peek and strafe right. I like using a flashbang here. It'll basically blow up upon impact and that player is going to be blinded. be able to escape it. This cubby is another spot that players like to hide in. To nade that, go kneel, lean, and then Peaking brown hallway can be made a little bit easier by changing the altitude of your head. Green has a similar spot. A lot of players like to sit right there. You can jump up on this box and silent strafe right. Sometimes flashbangs lie to make throws you just can't make with grenades.
five second fuse m67 grenades aren't great but you can use them situationally you can flush an enemy out push your own grenade as a five second fuse out of the way before it explodes 